setting particular preferences in Painter can be kind of interesting. As you can see, I moved this bar up here as a horizontal across my picture, rather than over here. It actually didn't fit, as you could see on some of the other videos, and I actually prefer it up here, especially when I'm doing longer work, and I just kind of want to be able to make my pen go as far as it can. Um, I can double tap this and this, or if you have it set to a drawer, you can do that. Get rid of these things, or you can even hit the tab button on your computer, and it'll take all those away, and you hit tab again. And then, um, But in general, I like as much space. Now to get to what I'm actually talking about, preferences, you can go to edit, the preference tab, and we've already went over brush tracking. I recommend looking into customizing your keys if you're used to a different software, you know, kind of matching them up to what you prefer. Um, but let's go over to our interface here. And let's go down this. In the cursor type, it's generally set on Enhanced Brush Ghost. But as you saw, maybe you noticed just previously, um, I was on Brush Ghost, which is much different. It actually uh, doesn't show me over here, but this is kind of a simplified version. It just shows me a shape of the dab of the brush that I'm using. This here, Iconic, is just going to give you some options for a shape. This little uh, torus is a little circle, or you can have a little paintbrush, and there's no cursor that is like a circ, you know, a general what you've seen earlier or a brush dab. This is just one um, consistent shape that you know doesn't change in size or or uh, you know doesn't have a tilt or anything. Or you can choose a single pixel if you're very confident in where your stroke is going to land. I kind of use this actually when I'm painting live or giving demonstrations. People don't really like to see that big cursor. And when it's on a projector, I can usually see the pixel pretty well. And I kind of like that for that reason. Here in the color theme, we can choose what color the whole painter is. And uh, that kind of changes it from one of these three things. I actually recommend sepia. I like that because it's a nice light brown. Or you can hit this uh, brush icon, this is just a different feature. Uh, and as you can see over here, oh, I don't have it open. When I open this over here, you can see there is a different category. Uh, this looks different. That was that, so that selection right there was whether you want your category or you want to see the stroke. And that can be pretty useful because if you want more brushes and you need more room, I actually recommend to see your stroke because even if I have five different chalks out, they are all going to look the same versus seeing their individual stroke and seeing what they're going to do. Um, this single document view I have it on right now, as you can see, there's no white bar going across down here or up here. Um, that is not by default. The default is actually to have that bar that you can um, grab the slider and move across your image. I don't really like having it on there. I think it loses some uh, theatrical feel to your work. And whoops, I don't know why I opened that tab. And then, you know, again, to go back up here, if it doesn't fit over here, I recommend just making it go horizontally across. I'm using a Cintiq 12WX, which is quite old. And so this doesn't fit very well on the screen since it Painter's made for bigger screens at this point. And that's kind of it. You can play with the media layout or the uh, command bar layout. These are my preferences. And just as one last note, if you do change your, your color theme, as you can see, it requires a restart. So don't freak out if some things are not going through. Just restart Painter, and it should all come through. That's kind of the preferences in Painter that uh, I use and or like to go over that help me just again to add that extra level of comfort in my workspace. Thanks for watching these and I hope to see what you come up with in Painter around online. Uh, you can post your pictures to Painter's Facebook page where everybody can see them and that's always kind of fun because not only can you see other people's works but you're able to uh, share your own. Thanks for watching again and I hope you enjoy Painter. Mm -hmm.